sons and daughters of God, daily devotional by Alan G. White. We are witnesses for God. September 24th. We are to go to the ends of the earth. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Thank God that it is our privilege to be called witnesses for God. Then if we are witnesses, we must speak for Christ and lift him up amongst our associates. When we see the adore and re religious zeal of any of our companions growing cool, we must help and encourage such a one, pray with and for him, that he may be a true witness for the Lord. You are to be an agent through whom God will speak to the soul. Precious things will be brought to your remembrance, and with a heart overflowing with the love of Jesus, you will speak words of vital interest and import. Your simplicity and sincerity will be the highest eloquence, and your words will be registered in the books of heaven as fit words, which are like apples of gold in pictures of silver. God will make them a healing flood of heavenly influence, awakening conviction and desire, and Jesus will add his intercession to your prayers and claim for the sinner the gift of the Holy Spirit and pour it upon his soul. And there will be joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. The work above all, the business above all others which should draw and engage the energies of the soul is the work of saving souls for whom Christ has died. Make this the main, the, the important work of your life. Make it your special work, your most special life work. Cooperate with Christ in this grand noble work and become home and foreign missionaries. Be ready and efficient to work at home or far, in far off climes for the saving of the souls. Oh, that young and old were thoroughly converted to God and would take up the duty that lies next to them and work as they have opportunity to become laborers together with God. Should this come to pass, multitudes of voices would show forth the praise of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. This is your daily devotion. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Please also check the YouTube comments for any further study notes. Sons and Daughters of God